Welcome to How to Manage DNS Round Robin and NetMask Ordering with PowerShell. I'd like to quickly go over a couple of prerequisites with you. You will require Windows Server 2016 with the DNS Server role installed. And you'll also need the DNS Server PowerShell module loaded prior to start. Now, let's move on to our first section here. Viewing the current settings. Now, we use the get DNS Server Settings dash all. Now, we'll give that a quick run. And that gives us all of our settings that you can set for your DNS server. Now that includes the round robin and the local net priority settings that we're going to be covering today. Now you may be asking where does this local net priority setting come from? That's actually the name given to net mask ordering in the PowerShell commandlet. So if we take a look at our DNS console here, look at the properties, over to the advanced tab, you can see here, Enable Round Robin and Enable NetMask Ordering are both checked. Now, we'll just quickly go back to our PowerShell window. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to assign the Get DNS Server Setting object to the DNS Settings variable. Now, this is going to allow us a little bit easier time to look at the specific settings. So, if we want to view the Round Robin settings by themselves, we just need to run the DNS Settings dot Round Robin and it comes back with true. And the same is for the local net priority. Run that, and that is also true. So that tells us that the round robin and the net mask ordering are both enabled. Now, let's say that for some reason you need to disable those particular settings. You can use the DNS settings dot round robin and set that to equal false. And the same for our local net priority. We'll also set that one to false. Now we're not quite done yet. Now we still need to Use the set DNS server setting and give it the input of the variable DNS settings. Give that a quick run here. And there we go. Let's just do a quick get DNS server setting and check to see if we were successful. Let's go back up to the top of our list. And there at the bottom of the page, you can see round robin and local net priority are both equal to false. Now, let's copy the DNS server settings from another server. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and we'll take a look at the settings for our domain controller and DNS server, DC02. And there you can see round robin and local net priority are both true. So all we need to do now is take the output of that and pipe it through to set DNS server setting. Give that a quick run. And we do get an error here. Now the failed to set property listed addresses on server DC01 is actually expected. Now this is a property that cannot be set or copied from another server because these are the addresses your DNS server uses to listen for DNS queries. So again, if we take a look at our DNS console, we'll go back into properties. Under interfaces here, this is where those addresses are configured. Okay, so now let's take a look at our server settings and make sure they were copied over correctly. Scroll back up. And you can see round robin and local net priority are once again set back to true. All right, and that brings us to the end of how to manage DNS round robin and net mask ordering with PowerShell.